Hello everyone. Thank you for coming and stop by my channel this evening. And I just wanted to come on here and talk to you a little bit about whatever's on my mind. And I about, and I'm about to eat my dinner. So if this is your first time, thank you. I have a lot of content on my um, channel that I do a little of everything. So feel free to stroll through and check out some of my videos. Today I am eating. I made me some shrimp egg fuyang. Patty, can you see that? And that's some green onion cut on top with some crackers. Let me say my grace one second. Thank you. Yeah, so today, yesterday I had a, I had, uh, had a Facebook Live. Mm, mm mm I make my own patties. And so all I use is bean sprout and um shrimp, onions. I make my own homemade gravy. Yeah, and that's what I do. I cook my own food. The pandemic got you can't go to restaurants, so and I like cooking anyway. That's one of the things on my channel, me cooking. So you'll see that also. But anyway, I had a live yesterday because I had a boutique. So I was selling some of my things. I'd be nervous when I'm on live or even while I'm taping now. Nervous. But, um, it's okay. I don't get over it. But I'll just be glad when all this is over because I'm a people person and I love being around people and talking to people, meeting new people. And it's difficult doing that now when we're stuck in the house, can't really do anything. So since I um, was diagnosed with cancer, I picked up a hobby, um, crafting. So I do a lot of crafting. I love doing that also, making things. And that's how I try to get a lot of people involved in starting a business and doing something on the side, even if you got a full time job, so that if anything ever happened, you know how to make money or got another income coming in. And 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 funny thing about it, I'm on medical, and I got terminated. The other day and I'm on medical how do you terminate someone that's out on medical I didn't understand that but anyway I called my job and they said it probably was a glitch in the system because they filed bankruptcy and another company bought them and my manager said whoever was out on medical, they just kicked them all the way out or whatever. But they reinstated me. So I got reinstated back into the company. But when they did that, they messed up my life insurance. Because they closed, when they terminated me, they closed everything. So they closed my part of my um, life insurance part. But they did send me a letter telling me I could get in contact with the insurance company and pay it on my own through another way. But I called them and I told them, explain what had happened, how they terminated me by mistake, as they say, it was by mistake. So I'm just waiting on them to, that part to kick back in for my life insurance. Cause I didn't have insurance with my job. I had it with my husband's job. But I still had to go get some assistance because when you're going through cancer, the bill is so high to where they said the treatment center that I was going to, I had to um, go to another center and they wanted me to go to that other center 
and get some since I had to get Medicaid also I got Blue Cross and Medicaid so that it'll cover and Medicaid won't cut you off and they'll pay for everything Blue Cross I still have to pay a copay but now I have both so I'm not paying a copay um, but I still have bills hospital bills from the surgery and everything I have learned a lot going through this and I try to share my story because it's things that I didn't even know you know and um, I learned a lot I didn't get, I prayed about it. I didn't get real sick. Like some people that's going through. And I had to have chemo for a whole year. And I also have to have, I had radiation also. Mm. This is so good. I have to have, I had radiation for a, six weeks I didn't get burnt real bad but I got burnt so February the 10th or something like that it'll be a year and um I'm already very light but where I got burnt that you could tell it it was really dark. But I'm getting my color back. I also got burnt. I don't know if you can see it under here. But it's coming back. I don't care about the burnt. As long as I'm still living, I'm okay. I lost all my hair last year. Hmm. And that's how I grew back. It's still real thin up here, though. And the back is really thin, like, up here. But, it's some hair. I'm living. And that's all that matters to me. And I thank God every day. I found the lump myself. I was laying in the bed one night, and I felt the lump. I thought, I told my husband, I said, oh my God, I feel this. And he felt it. He said, yeah, we got to call the doctor. But even though they told me I was diagnosed with it, I never believed it. I still don't. I just said, whatever God will is, will is, it will be done. And if I have to go through anything and get sick, don't let me be very, very sick. And, um, and he answered my prayers. I went through chemo, radiation. I still worked all while I was on chemo and radiation. I exercised. I cooked. I still did a lot of things. It was, you know, I got tired fast. And I did sit down when I needed to, but I kept it moving. He said, like, how you go? I said, with God. He's the only one. He saw me all the way through it. And still seeing me through it. And I had some, um, I had some side effects. Still have some, matter of fact. Where my hands was numb, got numb, my feet got numb. I had a lot of cramps. I mean, cramps to where, oh my God, you know how you get a Charlie horse? Well, that's what they are. Charlie horses, I got them in my hands, in my chest, in my neck, in my feet. And they stay for about a about a minute, maybe. Painful. And they was hitting me so bad. I was getting them so bad back to back. I had to. They gave me some medicine for it. Now they diagnosed me with um, vertical. I um, get very dizzy. When I first found out I got it, it woke me up out of my sleep. And I got up, I fell into the dresser, I fell into the mirror. And um, I 
my husband had to get up and grab me or I would have fell on the floor. And that scared me. And you know, you go to the doctor, what they gonna do? Give you medicine for that. I never been a medicine person, never. And anybody in my family could tell you I hate pills. I hate pills. I just lay and pray. So, now, besides the vertical, I'm getting these spots keep popping up on my legs. So far, they stay below my um, knee, but they, re they red spots. They don't know what it is. But they stay for three days and then they go away. So they go away. Like I said, in three days. But they come back. They're not itchy. So I'm seeing a dermatologist for it now. So they want to do a biopsy on it. When they come back, they want me to just come up there so they could do a biopsy on it. Because every time I got my appointment, they're gone. One second. Where's my toy saw? It's over there. Huh? It's over there. Where? Right here. I'm standing. Where? Yeah, I hope you saw my toy Mm-mm. I'm sorry, y'all. It ain't open. I'm sorry. I had to give me some more. Soy sauce. I love soy sauce. And crackers. Thank you, my darling. Mm -hmm. I only have a little bit more to eat. See that? Mm -hmm. I look. Oh, look what you're doing. I'm sorry, talking about she telling me and then she's spilling it, all that on there. That could go on my plate. <laughs> she talking about Yeah, I'm making a video. Like I can't talk to her while I'm making my video. I'm keeping it 100. I'm I'm being real about it. I'm not perfect. I'm just getting on trying to get on board with getting better with making my videos. Wrong. And she the one told me, do a video while you're eating. I'm like, what? I really don't like doing them while I'm eating. But I did it for her. Oh, I'm upgrading my, I'm remodeling my bathroom. So I am going to make a video of that. I already started when I'm done. Because I want to show before and after. So I will be posting that. But I'm through with all my treatments with the cancer. But I'm still going through, you know, you have to still have doctor visits. And they watch you really carefully the first two years. And the first time I had to sit down with my surgeon and they put the team together, the type of cancer, breast, I have breast cancer, HER2 positive. They said I, um, the lifespan is five years. So I'm in there, I'm like five years, so hmm, I'll be dead at 62. But she said, well, that's just what the statistics says. And the reason why they say that is because when people have cancer, they don't come back and do follow-ups after once they say it's gone. And they don't keep a track record how long they still living. So therefore they they said five years. So that's why they, you know, they said 
with the type I have five years. But they not got. Hmm, I'm sorry. I'm a little longer than five years. He got the last word. But I still do everything I want to do. I don't think about it. And I just enjoy life. We all got to go one day. We don't know how we going to go. But that ain't going to be the... Re That's not how I'm going to go. Not from cancer. And not from corona. Because I'm saying it right. I'm not going from by that neither. Mm-mm. Nope. You know, we got to learn to love our neighbors, people, period. I don't understand. I've always been a loving and caring person. I have a heart. I'm easy to cry. I'm very emotional. I don't like to, people, to, people to do wrong to other people. I'm not no angel or anything like that, but... Some of the stuff people do to people and the harsh words they say to people, I can't do it. And I won't do it. I just pray about it. And pray for them. And people do me wrong, I still pray for them. I still go up to them and, and apologize. And I know I wasn't the one that did nothing wrong. But... That's the way it goes sometimes. And it's okay. I ain't gonna let anybody change me. Nope. Nobody. But anyway, I just wanted to come on here real quick, talk to y'all a little bit about what's going on with me. My name is Barbara, if I didn't tell you. And if this is your first time. Thanks for sitting with me. And watching me. Look, I'm almost done. Eat my shrimp egg for young. That I prepared. All gone. <laughs> All gone. So, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to come back. Make sure y'all come back. And see my updated, remodeled bathroom. I'm doing room by room. I did my living room. I will show you, but I had a live selling my merchandise, purses, and everything like that. So everything is still laid out because people are still calling, making orders. So my room, my living room is full of purses and hats and fur, vests and a little everything. But once I clean that out, I will give you a tour of my living room, how I redecorated my living room. A lot of things in there I made myself. When I go to a store and I see something, I'd be wanting to buy and look at the price and say, nope, I'm going to make it myself. And I come home and I do it. My grandkids and my daughter, when they go to the store, they're like, oh, my God. They be like, Mom, can you buy me this? I said, let me see. I said, no, I can make it. They be like, oh, my God, do you got to make everything? Can you buy some things? Why? When I can make it and save that money for something else. That's what I do. Dad learn one day. The water is so good. I left pop and juice and everything alone. Just water. I'm on this water kick. So, yeah. I got to lose some weight. Day by day, one day at a time. So, remember to subscribe. Hit the like button, y'all. Hit the like button. I'm trying to get my views and everything up. And remember to hit the bell so you can be notified and come back the next time I come on. 
And I want everyone, everyone to stay blessed, wear your mask, stay safe, so we could beat this pandemic out here. And we could get back to living. It's not going to go back the way it used to be. I hope it's better. But get back to enjoying our family and friends, having gatherings again. And I feel so sad for the young kids. That hurts me so much that they can't be with their friends. They can't be in school. But they're getting ready to go back to school now. But I hope it's safe for them or in us when they come home. But, um, yeah, God is, he's, he going to make it turn around. But we got to do our part. He just showed us. Y'all better get it together down here. And love each other. And get along with each other. And stop all this nonsense. We know we're not going to live forever. But he, he made this beautiful earth for us to be here. For a re It's a purpose why we're here. And we just got to figure out what that purpose is. Each individual has to figure it out. We do. And if y'all don't see what this pandemic then did, how... Things could be taken away from you in a snap. I don't know what's wrong with y'all. And all this killing, y'all still killing, and this a disease out here that could kill you? And y'all still out here doing nonsense? I don't understand that. But anyway, we pray. Pray for them. Pray for me. Until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and as always, Love all and hate no one.